Some war films create fictional battles, but these movies are based on real life events. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 real military operations depicted in film. Uh, we're fighting with horsemen against tanks. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on war movies based on historical military operations and battles. Okay. <laughs> Number 10, Operation Desert Shield, Jarhead. Swafford. Sir, yes, sir. Based on Anthony Swafford's memoir, this film captures the anticipation of Gulf War combat. When a United States Marine sniper arrives in the Arabian Peninsula, he's ready for action and all the inevitable violence that surely awaits him. As the days pass, though, Swafford's Desert Shield experience isn't quite like the non-stop action war movies usually depict. Without my rifle, I am nothing. Say it, you f***ing idiot. No. <laughs> this is my rifle. There are many like it. Character dialogue, mostly improvised, highlights this day-to-day -day grind. Most of all, though, Jarhead locks into the psychological aspects of the mission, showing how soldiers interact before the storm hits and how some individuals can become their own worst enemy. The earth is bleeding. You better get used to it, because we're going to be living in it. Number 9. Scud Alley, Bravo 2-0. Going through! Going through! In 1991, an eight-man British Special Air Service squad was assigned to locate and destroy Iraqi Scud missile launchers. While the source material of Bravo 2-0 has been scrutinized over the years, the film adaptation nevertheless depicts the fundamental chaos of the mission. Sean Bean stars as Andy McNabb, who wrote the original book. The character's narration provides the insider account of the experience, as he chronicles the ups and downs while pushing forward in Scud Alley. Bravo 2-0 works as an action film, but it also sheds life on the real-life SAS operation and combat techniques. Hello Zero, hello Zero, this is Bravo 2-0. Radio check, over. Number 8, Embassy Siege, 6 Days. Shit. I want the negotiator here now! On April 30th, 1980, six gunmen took control of London's Iranian embassy. With 26 hostages in custody and the world watching, the British Army's Special Air Service ultimately sets in motion Operation Nimrod live on TV. As a whole, Six Days successfully communicates the shifting strategy on both sides of the incident. Don't move! Don't talk! You! You want to die? I said you want to die! The film fuses international politics, mass media and military planning, with the technical advising of a real-life SAS operative, making it even more intriguing. It also pays special attention to the timeline of events, which creates an effective balance of military ops and big screen drama. It's down to the negotiators to break the deadlock. Or your men will have to storm the embassy. Number seven, Operation Red Wings, Lone Survivor. Red Wings a go, tonight, 1800. During the war in Afghanistan, the United States planned a joint military operation against local militia forces. Lone Survivor tells the story of four Navy SEALs who were dropped in the mountains for a recon mission, only to be ambushed with nowhere to escape. You can die for your country, I'm gonna live for mine. Based partially on the Lone Survivor's account, this film starring Mark Wahlberg depicts the horror of being geographically trapped during war, along with the bravery of the soldiers. Lone Survivor does have its melodramatic moments, yet it's the circumstances and tactical efforts that capture the spirit of the mission and the men involved. Never out of the fight. Number 6, Operation Market Garden, A Bridge Too Far. The plan is called Operation Market Garden. For this World War II mission, the United States' first Allied Airborne Army teamed up with British ground troops, the 30 Corps. The goal? Secure various bridges in Nazi-occupied Netherlands. A Bridge Too Far might indeed have its share of dated character types, but it has a star-studded cast, including Sean Connery and the great Dirk Bogard, and it's hailed for accurately depicting a failed mission over the course of its nearly three hours. The late critic Roger Ebert once asked, why make a movie about total defeat and stupidity? Well, this film proves that all World War II stories are worth telling, not just the glamorous ones. We, my friends, are the cavalry on the way to the rescue. Number 5, Defense of Iwo Jima, Letters from Iwo Jima. With this film, director Clint Eastwood strips away Hollywood cliches to examine the Japanese perspective during World War II. More specifically, he focuses on the defense of Iwo Jima and the culture of its military. It's a moving companion film to Flags of Our Fathers, and it deconstructs Japanese stereotypes for an honest representation of loyalty, honor, and commitment during the Pacific War.
10,000 Japanese soldiers are still buried at Iwo Jima, and the film manages to bring out the humanity of the fallen soldiers rather than depicting them solely as America's enemies. Number 4. Mogadishu Raids – Black Hawk Down Be careful! No one gets left behind! Before this film's release, many people had read about the United States' presence in Somalia, or even seen shocking news clips. Yet, they perhaps didn't fully understand what actually transpired in October 1993. Ridley Scott's Black Hawk Down cleared that up by showing the conflict of the initial landing and the 17-hour firefight that ensued. Now they're shooting at us! Once the American soldiers are pinned down, the street sequences heighten the shock factor for viewers, largely because it's a historically accurate representation rather than just an action flick with emerging stars. As a result, the humanity and the heroism feels entirely realistic, because it's exactly that. We got a Black Hawk down, we got a Black Hawk down. Number 3. Dunkirk Evacuation, Dunkirk There are 400,000 men on this beach, sir. Directed by Christopher Nolan, this film, shot mostly with 70mm IMAX film, depicts the pivotal World War II evacuation of British soldiers from advancing Nazi armies in France. While many combat productions rely on heavy dialogue, Dunkirk takes a different approach by focusing on the strategy from different perspectives. It's the attention to detail that's so captivating, along with the brilliant pacing. Dunkirk opens up the soldier's world for viewers, whether it's on the sea, on land, or during an aerial dogfight. As a result, there's a poetic quality to the visuals, as the director hoped to ease up on pure tension to provide an intimate look at the historic evacuation. You can practically see it from here. What? Home. Number 2. Operation Neptune Spear, Zero Dark Thirty. Dude, it's okay. Do you even realize what you just did? For years after 9-11, Osama bin Laden evaded American troops. This Catherine Bigelow film takes viewers behind the scenes, as the CIA tracks down the terrorist to his Pakistan compound in 2011. When Operation Neptune Spear commences, it's everything you might expect, and yet also so much more. There's the chaos of the initial helicopter crash, and then the chaotic unknown, with the soldiers navigating the darkness via cutting-edge night vision goggles. When SEAL Team 6 takes over the compound, their confusion and eventual success offers viewers a small bit of ground-level insight into the real-life operation. I'm gonna smoke everybody involved in this op. And then I'm gonna kill Bin Laden. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hey! Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Number one, D-Day saving Private Ryan. In the opening sequence of this massively successful film, director Steven Spielberg recreates the United States' Normandy invasion during World War II, one of the most famous and infamous days in military history. It is bloody, violent, and shockingly realistic. The movie stars Tom Hanks, Matt Damon, and a brilliant extended cast, and helped viewers understand, if only a little bit, what soldiers endured on June 6, 1944. Got to the coast of Normandy, and then it really got hot. There is grace under pressure depicted with great impact, and certainly fear under pressure too. Saving Private Ryan immerses us in the conflict of trying to survive while experiencing hell on earth. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.